In this video, I'm going to go over the process of cloning a hard drive to replace your hard drive. Um, I'm on a MacBook Pro and uh, I have a SSD in this computer, but you may have a spinning hard drive and I'm going to be replacing it with a larger SSD. And the technique I'm going to use is uses a uh, time machine. So the first thing you want to do is log into your open up time machine, have a hard drive hooked up. This isn't a tutorial on time machine, but if you go to options here, you want to make sure you don't have anything selected under here that you want to keep. So uh, once you have that set up, the next thing you're going to do is to restart the machine and hold down command R after the chime and you'll boot into recovery mode. Okay, so the computer's now booted into the recovery mode and I'm going to say restore from time machine backup hit continue and it's gonna ask us uh, if we want to restore we'll say continue I have a network backup but if you had a USB drive you'd see that there so we'll choose that Okay, it's asking me to log in. Okay, so now it has the different backups I have on here. So I'm going to choose the MBP, which is the Mac up, MacBook Pro, and I'll hit continue. And now it'll say restore from, and we'll click that. And there'll be a date on the screen, we'll hit continue. And it'll say select a destination. So what I have here is a Samsung one terabyte SSD in a Sabrent enclosure. And I have a video on this uh, enclosure. Um, and if you this video is helpful. I'll put a link in the description for my affiliate link for Amazon and if you buy through there I get a little bit of money and it doesn't cost you a thing and that helps me uh, you know encourages me to make these videos so I have this uh, drive in here I'll turn it on and we'll wait a second and that should show up in the destination here it is the one terabyte now you may need to uh, format this drive ahead of time and then I'll hit restore you'll say it's gonna erase everything hit continue you want to make sure you uh, choose the proper drive and now it's restoring files so this will take quite a while it'll probably take many hours because I have about 450 gigabytes on there so uh, I'll come back after this is done Okay, so after that process completed, it rebooted, so then we'll log in. So here it looks like we are booted from the external drive. So if I go into System Preferences here, and go up to Startup Disk, and we'll see uh, the two drives on there. This is the external, and then this is the internal drive. So the next step will be to move this uh, drive inside of the computer. So that is the process for uh, cloning a Mac drive utilizing uh, a time machine. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And if you like this video, please click the like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching. Bye.